Welcome to the course Scalable Data Analysis in Python with Dask. So my name is Mohammad Kashif and uh, I'll be your instructor for this course. So a brief introduction about me. I completed my masters in data engineering from Triple IT Delhi. Currently I am working as a data scientist in Nine Leaps where I deal mostly with graph data. I also enjoy debugging other people's programs and uh, helping them out. So you can see my activity over Stack Overflow. My handle is at Mohammad hyphen Kashif. Prior to this, I also have some experience in teaching programming to undergraduate students as well. Enough about me. Let's go over to the course overview. So in the first section, getting started with Dask, we'll discuss what Dask is, how it is useful and how you can use it to scale your Python code. Then we'll move over to Dask arrays, which is a collection provided by Dask and is an interface for NumPy arrays. We'll discuss how it is faster, how you can use it to parallelize your arrays computation and some of its limitations. Then we'll move on to parallelizing code with Dask. So Dask also allows you to make use of multiple cores on your system to parallelize your existing Python code. So we'll be discussing how we can accomplish that using Dask and uh, we'll go over the various examples and do some performance analysis as well. Then uh, we'll move on to understanding Dask data frames. We'll discuss about how the Dask data frames are similar to the Pandas data frame and uh, what features they provide the out of memory computation and uh, we'll go over various data sets and explore them using Dask data frames. Then we'll move on to exploring Dask bags. We'll create and uh, store Dask bags, perform some computation, do examples of say word count, manipulating JSON, etc. In the next section, we'll be discussing distributed computing with Dask, where we'll set up our local cluster, perform some computation, explore the Dask dashboard UI, and look into the different schedulers available for Dask as well. Once that is done, we'll explore some advanced Dask features like persisting data and how we can use Dask with the concurrent.futures API in Python. We'll also discuss some of the best practices to follow when using Dask. In the final section, we'll discuss machine learning with Dask, where we'll combine scikit-learn with Dask and how you can use Dask to scale up your machine learning pipelines. So now we'll discuss the hardware requirements. So any system with Windows, Mac or any Linux based OS will do. Memory should be 4 GB. Storage space would ideally be less than 1 GB. So you would need to install Python 3.7, IPython package, Jupyter Notebook, NumPy, Pandas, Dask and Scikit-learn. If you want, you can use any other IDE of your choice as well. But for this course, we'll be using Jupyter Notebook. So this course is for Python programmers, data analysts and aspiring data science professionals who are familiar with the basic Python programming syntax, which will help them to extend their skills so as to scale their Python code. Also, some familiarity with NumPy, Pandas and Scikit-learn would be helpful. Some key features of this course include getting a hold on using Dask collections like Dask arrays, bags and Dask data frames for parallel and out of memory computations. You will also learn how to leverage the power of parallel processing or using multiple cores on your system using Dask.Delayed. You will also get a complete exposure to using Dask for handling large data in a distributed setting or even on your local Dask cluster. You will also learn how to do machine learning by combining scikit-learn and Dask in a distributed setting for large data sets as well. So that sums it up about this course. So let's begin.